Hey guys, this is AI Gaming 1776 and we're doing a relaxed little video where I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to modify this slim HT PC case in front of you. This is an ML08B-H from Silverstone, all right? So this is part of a series that's called the ML08 series, the Milo series if you will. And this is the black one with a handle. It doesn't have windows or anything. And really, Silverstone has several variations of this case. There's the RVZ-1, there's arguably the Raven kind of shares some similarities, but you know, maybe it doesn't. Just been, it depends on how you look at it. I had a Raven owner uh, see pictures of it on my Twitter, and he said it looked like his Raven. I've seen videos where, does it look like a Raven? I don't know, but they're all pretty similar ideas, although this is one of the slimmest HTPC cases on the market. It is very slim. It is very skinny, very narrow. Um, I have a Node 202 coming in the mail and we'll see how thin that is. The Node 202 accommodates more stuff inside of it, so it might be slimmer than the Node 202. A simple Google search probably would have given me that answer, but like I said, this is a laid back and relaxed video. So, uh, a couple things here. I'm not going to edit the video, we're just going to do this as we go. This is kind of like a little behind the scenes. Uh, you guys get to spend some time with me and get to look at this case, things like that. No, the production values aren't going to be great, it's not going to be edited, I'm not going to have music in the background or anything. And if it's going to be boring for you, then I'm, I'm sorry, some of you will find this boring, some of you will find it useful. Alright, so, hi. I've been sitting outside of the frame so you guys can see the case. Oh, by the way, that's my 1440p monitor, 144 hertz with FreeSync. That is a 1080p 60 and that is a 1080p 144. I plan on adding a G-Sync 1440, a G-Sync 1080p, and a FreeSync 1080p. That's all not even necessarily having anything to do with this case, but since the camera's pointing at it, I'll go ahead and tell you. All right, so what do I think of this case? So far, it's been a mixed bag. I would not have a Node 202 coming if this was perfect, though, so that should be your hint, all right? And we're gonna try to modify this case. We're gonna try to add some fans. There's no official support for fans, so I have two 60 millimeter Noctuas that I'm gonna rig into there. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to experiment with a 40 mil. Yeah, this thing's like tiny. This could, this is so, you don't even know. This is a 40 millimeter knock to a fan it's ridiculous so we're gonna experiment with this it's it's been a mixed bag okay first of all it's one of the slimmest form factors on the market all right it's one of the slimmest form factors on the market so that makes it pretty cool you can stand it up you can lay it down it's got a handle the handle is what sold me. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's got chamber separation, so the bottom is where the CPU is. The handle can only go in one spot up here. So I assume they want the top to be for the GPU. So the CPU is down here. I have a 4690K with a stock cooler on it. Uh, I'll update that in the future. Uh, I wanted to see what it did with a stock cooler in the slim case, to be honest with you. I wanted to test that first. As you can expect, it's not great. Not even overclocked, it gets up to 83 degrees, which is, that's in gaming. It can't even handle Ida 64. I tried Ida 64 for two minutes, and I didn't want my house to burn down, so I just, I stopped the test. It, it was not inspiring by any means. So the CPU's down there, 16 gigs of RAM, 4690K. I've got a gigabyte um, Z97N Wi-Fi board. It's got Wi-Fi, obviously. Now, because the GPU is up top, the motherboard I.O. is upside down, this is a Founders Card GTX 1070. This works really well in here. The Founders Card, actually. Here, let me turn this around. All right. Yeah, I know my big potato head is going to look weird popping into the camera, but we're going to have to deal with that. So the GPU, that goes up there. It's a Founders card. It does throttle. It does get up to, I don't know, 84 degrees or something tragic. Um, maybe 85. It gets up pretty high. So both of, you know, the main components, the GPU and the CPU, they're, they're in the 80s for the temperature. It's, it's not ideal, which is why we're going to do this. See, the Node 202 actually allows you to install two 120mm fans in it. This does not. This is passively cooled. 
Um, if you want to put like a weak sauce GPU in there, like a 750 Ti or something, then this would probably never be an issue. But I want to put a real GPU in it because in my mind, so what sells me on this form factor is the fact that it is slim, it has a handle. I can take this to a LAN party. I can take this to a friend's house. I have friends who are not PC gamers and I've been wanting to show them what PC gaming can be. And I can just pick this up, carry it over to a friend's house. I mean, this this is small enough. It can probably fit into your carry-on luggage. This is it could fit in some briefcases probably. It's a very nice. It's a very nice form factor. All right, that's what the front I/O looks like. In case you're curious, it's back there. So I like the form factor, but at the same time, in modern era, you know, it's 2016 as I record this, in the middle of 2016, I would like to be able to push 4K graphics. So there's a 1070 in there. Ideally, though, to be honest with you, uh, I thought a 1060 would be a home run. This is a Founders Edition of the 1060 right here. I, I'm off to the side of the camera, so please forgive me for not framing things correctly. This is actually awkward as heck, but... Anyway, this is a, um, a Founders Edition of the GTX 1060, and I thought this card would be a home run, and I'll tell you why. So in a mid-tower computer, my 1070, that gets up into the uh, 70s if I have the fan turned up, right? And if I have the fan turned up on my 1060 in a mid-tower, that actually can stay below 70 degrees. Uh, I say it can. It doesn't always, but it can. You know, it can game at like 68 degrees. Granted, the fans turned up really high, but it can do it. So that gave me some kind of hope, right? Like I said, you know, the 1060, especially being a reference card, especially having a reference blower on it, it's going to be really good. In this form factor, it's going to exhaust the heat out of the back. Everything's going to be fine. Well, even with the 1060, everything was not fine. The 1060, that also gets into the 80s for the temperature. You have to understand, the only reason why both these cards are getting up to the 80s and stopping in the 80s is because there's a there's a temperature limit, right? In Afterburner, I have a temperature limit set for like 84 degrees or something uh, because it's tied to the power limit. So to get the power limit up as high as it can go, the temperature goes up to 84. If it wasn't for the temperature limit, then Lord knows how hot these cards would really get, all right? Um, and even with the fan at 85% inside this case, both, both of the cards go into the 80s. So, anyway, if you put a 1060 in here, you can do 4K gaming on lower settings. I mean, like, really low settings, and it's at 30 frames per second, but it's doable. And if you have a 1070, you can actually do almost respectable 4K gaming, depending on the game. Um... 1440p, you can do that, but arguably it's an HTPC case. Um, so does 1440p matter? I don't know. It kind of matters to me. I like my computers to kind of do anything I want them to, right? This costs a lot of money. This is not a necessarily minor expense for me, so I would like it to do 1080p, 1440p, 4K, whatever. I want it to like kind of earn its place in my stable. So I know I've talked a lot, right? Like I said, this is going to be a long video and formal. A lot of people, most people probably think it's a boring video. Some people, though, I think you're going to learn something from watching it. So anyway, the form factor is good. Uh, the handle is good, but there are some things that are bad. Okay, so for example, the base, I hate the base. It's two pieces. It's garbage. So if anyone from Silverstone watches this, I hate it. Like, I honestly do. See, I do testing on my channel, so I'm moving my computers around all the time. I've already had several GPUs in and out of this thing, so I'm constantly trying to move it. And I have it in the vertical orientation because I bought the dang handle one. And obviously, you know, like, this is how I wanted it. I wanted it to be vertical. You can put it horizontally, too. You need to put the rubber feet on it, which I've not done. But this right here is atrocious. Like, this base, I'm surprised it even stayed on. What it is... What it is, is, um, and I'm real awkward here, I'm sitting at a chair and there's a desk and I'm away from the desk to not be in front of the camera, so yeah, I just put that down a little more harshly than I wanted to, but it is what it is. We're, we're trying to make a video here. So, you have these feet and they suck. They come apart, they come in half. This is how they're shipped, all right? They're shipped like this in two pieces. You have to put them together. Now, you would think that like maybe, oh, I don't know, they should go together 
in the in the size that would fit under here, but they go to like adjusting sizes or something stupid. So what you got to do is you got to put them together. You got to put the computer on top of them. Then you got to squeeze them together, which they're super awkward to do. But you got to squeeze them together to just the right width. Uh, a lot of times they slip off. So like if you pick up the computer, these usually fall off. If you decide you want to scoot the computer because you've decided the computer isn't where you want it and you want to scoot it, then a lot of times these just come apart. All right. It's I hate this. Now, the Node 202 is coming, and it's just got, like, I think one solid piece of plastic that the whole computer sits in. This is, this is, this is asinine, okay? The only reason I can think of that they do this is, remember, the computer's passively cooled, so once you, once you put it in here, which this just went together crooked. Right. So let's say this is in here. What you got to do is you have to be mindful. You have to be mindful. You don't want it too far to the edge here. You don't want it too far to the edges because then it won't situate correctly. But if you don't have these close to the edges, you'll block air vents. So the only thing I can think of is they didn't want to block the air vents because this thing is passively cooled. So it's two pieces where if they did what Fractal does, which looks like, and I could be wrong, we'll see when it comes in, but it looks like what Fractal does is they have um, one big rectangular piece to go under. That would block the vent, and I think that's what they're trying to avoid. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the Fractal when it comes in. Also, so, so I have build quality problems with this case, right? There are some build quality concerns. Um, these panels do not go on flush once hardware is in there. you got to understand, this is a very narrow case. And I bought an SFX power supply. It's a 600 watt power supply from Corsair. It's semi-silent. It's, uh, it's been pretty quiet in my testing. I've never heard it spin up. But then again, the GPU is so loud when I have the fan turned up on it that, you know, who knows? It could be spinning up. Anyway, but the panel is not flush here. And then it's probably not going to be flush on the other side. Nope, it's not. So the panel's not flush here, and what it is is it's usually cables or something or getting in the way. There needs to be some better way to, um, here. See that? Oh, this is so awkward. I don't know if you can tell, all right? I'm really, really trying. This thing's heavy. It's got pretty dense componentry. All right, look, trust me. The panel's not flush, whether it's showing up on the video or not, it's not flush. So that bums me out. All around, there's so much about this case that bums me out. The only saving grace for this case is it has a handle and it is slim. All right, those are the two qualities that it has going for it. I'm just going to be honest with you. So one thing that really sucks is to get the panels off, you have to use a screwdriver. It does not, it, these are not thumb screws. These are regular screws. You got to use a screwdriver. And there's actually one two, three screws per panel. There's a panel on each side that comes off. They're mirrored. They're basically the same thing on both sides. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. Actually, now I'm using a, this is really awkward. This is really awkward. All right, so I'm using a magnetized screwdriver from the iFixit kit. This is a magnetized dish over here. I strongly suggest you pick up a couple of those. They're like, I don't know, four to eight dollars a piece, but they are just something you should really have, especially if you want to do a bunch of PC building because they help make sure your screws don't go everywhere. And what I do, okay, so like what a lot of YouTubers do is they lay their, um, they lay the screws out like in a certain order. What I do is I bunch them up, right? Like I've got some over here, some over here. These are going to all go right here. Uh, I just bunch them up on the little magnetic dish and you know there's six identical screws here so I'm going to remember like oh those are for my case. Um, I have two of the dishes that way I can keep everything like spread out. You can use whatever system you want. Uh, oh wait a minute did I get all six? It looks like I did. One, two, three, four, five. Now what am I missing? Here. There's one up here. Anyway so by the way I'm not using a static strap and hopefully I'm not tempting fate by doing this on video but I do have a metal filing cabinet over there that I always reach over and touch. 
So now I got the screws out. Oh, shoot. This is where I'm an idiot. Yo soy un idioto. All right, so what I forgot to do is take the handle out. Yeah, so if you want to take the panels off, you have to take the handle out. Actually, I might be able to take the PC panel off. Yeah, that should come off. So I can get at the PC. Yeah, I could do that. But I can't get at the GPU. And the GPU is what I'm most likely to switch out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most likely thing I'm going to be taking out. So to get at the GPU, I actually have to unscrew the handle. This whole thing is a hassle. Now, let's say though, by the way, the 1070, even when it throttles, even when it's in the 80s, it's still going to be able to kill 1080p gaming, right? So even if it's not going to be 144 frames per second when it's throttling at 84 degrees or 83 degrees or whatever it is it's getting up to, it's not going to be doing like 144 frames per second. But keep in mind, if you're playing on a TV and you're playing at, at 1080p, 60 frames per second, um, you're good. This thing can throttle all at once. Um, you're not going to have too much of an issue hitting 1080p, 60 frames per second with this card. The problem is the the 1060, it really seemed to suffer when it throttled. All right, so now these panels can come off. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to come up with a little ghetto rig system. And hopefully this thing doesn't fall over. I am sitting, I don't know, at least two feet away and I'm having to bend over to reach the computer. What just fell out? Oh my god, okay, this is just the GPU brace, which, by the way, the GPU brace is a joke. It doesn't really snugly secure to anything. Alright, so one of the cool things here, that's a full-size Founders card. Now, what you might not realize is there's so much space in here. See this? That is a 980 Ti classified from EVGA. I believe these are 90 millimeter fans, and this thing is huge. Now, this actually fits. 100% fits. I've put it in there and it works. The problem is it's an internal exhaust card and it gets so hot so fast that it begins throttling its brains out. Okay, You do not want to put an internal exhaust card in here. Don't do that. That is not a good idea. However, with that said, um, it fits. And that to me is highly, highly surprising. So one of the nice things is, as you can see, my cable management is pretty amazing. Um, not because I'm smart, but it's just because of the way the cable's laid out. See, the power supply is right here. You flip it around, the power supply is on the other side of this, and there's a hole here, and I've got it running underneath the GPU, and I have it bent very harshly to the point of almost kinking it, but perfect cable routing, uh, as close to perfect as you're going to get. I promise you, getting this angled in front of the camera is so much harder than you would think. Like, I'm making a triangle, okay? The camera's here, the computer's here, and I'm here, and it's like 45 degree angles. It's like, is that you? Do triangles have 45 degree angles? I haven't been to high school for a long time. I think so. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, triangles can have different. It's like you can have a right angle triangle, which would have a 90 degree angle, and then... Yeah, who cares? You get the point. It's like I'm in a weird, awkward situation. So, like facing me, that's straight facing me, right? That is straight facing me. This, or something like it, is straight facing you, and it's like completely skewed for me. Alright, so, here's where the magic happens. Check this out. Ta-da! 60 millimeter fan, right? Now, the thing is, I would like to have two 60 millimeter fans here, but I don't know if I can. That is what I've been, ooh. See, I didn't think it would work. I didn't think two 60 millimeter fans would work, but they will. All right, so hallelujah. Two 60 millimeter fans and a reference card will absolutely fit in there. The problem is going to be this though, all right? This is gonna be a gauntlet, whether it looks like it or not. Um, First of all, there's a brace here, a wall here, a GPU here. There's a thing here. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to use zip ties to try to hold the little fans to this cage, if you will. All right. 
So, I don't know if I'm going to line it up right. It's going to be like a leap of faith. Well, like I said, this is a... Uh, I'm not going to edit this video. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to take this apart so I can... Um, Okay, so there's a filter in here, right? And most people would be like, well, that's good. And you're right, that is good. However, however, um, I need that filter to be out in order to run zip ties through the grating. And there's these tabs. If they'll even show up on the camera. There we go. Tab, tab. These are tabs. Tab. Those are plastic tabs. That should be holding the grill on and oh there we go oh there we go i got it apart it did not look like it wanted to come apart so what i can do actually i am highly tempted to not even put this back on right um this would offer some protection to the gpu especially if the computer falls over but i'm tempted i don't have to do anything with the um I'm thinking about not putting that back on. Okay, look, I'm not using a wrist strap. I'm not putting this together correctly. Hell, even the whole concept of what I'm doing is obviously not something Silverstone has advised. So don't consider any of what I'm doing right here to be a recommendation, all right? I'm just sharing with you something that I'm doing because this is something that I am enthusiastic about. All right, so what I wanna do I want to put the 1060 back in here because the whole original idea for the HTCP was to have the 1060 in it. Although, I need to do some other 1060 testing, but whatever. It would have been easier to do on my mid-tower computer, but whatever. This is We're going to do this. This is just all kinds of a hassle, all right? So, holding this sucker in, okay, in case it's not obvious... Look, down here is your motherboard. That's the stock CPU cooler. That's the PCIe slot. There's a so-called riser card or whatever. It's a, it's a two-part system, right? There's, there's one that goes straight into the PCI slot at 90 degrees, and then there's another at 90 degrees that goes through to the other chamber. And there it is right there. And actually, this is pretty solid, right? I mean, this is like really in there. I mean, you can... You can smack it around if you want to. I mean, it's, it's in there. It's going to stay. So that's pretty good. Um, but here's what you got to do to take it all apart. So first of all, you got to take the handle off. Then you got to take the three screws out to take one of the panels off. You don't take both panels off if you're just swapping GPUs. Obvious. Well, I say obviously. It might not be obvious to you. In case you, in case you want to know, you if you're just changing the GPU out, you only have to take out the GPU cover. So let's do that. And again, I'm not going to put the dust cover back on. Don't, you know, don't don't be like me. I'm, I'm an idiot. I spent my own money on this, and I can do what I want with it. If I want to be an idiot, I can be an idiot. All right, so take these two screws out here. All right, for what it's worth, they're the same kind of screws that go in here. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, unhook the power. See, now that I've unscrewed it, this thing's all wobbly. So those two screws are really doing a lot of the work in making it stay in there. So I found it's easiest to just take the whole GPU out with the extender, right? So here's the PCI extender thing. So you take the, take the whole thing out, you take the GPU out with the extender, all in one piece. But then I found that it's easier to put the extender right back into the system and then put the new card into it that way, okay? So when the card comes out, this comes out with it. But when you're putting the new card in, it's not like you put this on the new card and then put it in because it lines up way crazy. Don't do that. So just put the extension piece there. So now you have the extension piece. And then, again, we're going to put a Founders 1060 in it. Now remember, this was getting into the 80s before. Hopefully, hopefully what we're going to do will make that better. Um... I gotta be able to see what I'm doing, so I gotta put my potato head in front of the camera. All right, so this right here, in case you get this case and you're trying to put a GPU in, this is kind of hard to line up. This, I can't tell what I'm doing in this camera. 
I'm sitting like an isosceles triangle. All right, so there is this right here. Okay, that is kind of weird to line up, but all you got to do is focus on getting this into the PCIe slot, and it'll work itself out. Okay, so I don't have the screws in here yet, so that's like real wonky and bendy and real crappy. Also, during this part of the installation, it's very easy to make everything come crooked um, with that little PCIe extender. So it is a good idea to hurry up and get this screwed in here and held up. All right, so we're gonna, Again, I got to put my potato head in here a little bit just to make sure everything's lined up. Now, this is one of the areas where having a magnetized, this is an iFixit screwdriver for what it's worth. Having a, mag, having a magnetized screwdriver helps. See that? Having a magnetized screwdriver is very helpful in this situation. So, let's get everything lined up. See, there's a little brace thing here that the screw goes through. If I wasn't doing this sitting two feet away with my arms outstretched with a camera going, this would not be so difficult. All right, so don't be scared of it being difficult for you. It shouldn't be that bad. Although I did want to just take a look and make sure that my PCIe situation was still how it should be. All right, so once again, got my little magnetized screwdriver making it highly, 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 much, much, much easier to get that in there. All right, so this all works by, golly, I don't want to use the wrong words here, but look, between the way it's it slots into there and the way the screws are right here, this is, once again, on fairly solid ground. That was not as bad as it sounded, trust me. All right, so let's power this puppy, not turn it on, but plug the power in if we can. This is actually pretty awkward because remember I've got a huge oh yeah it's only a six pin idiot that's why wait, there we go there we go it's only a six pin I refer to myself as an idiot all the time all right and uh, I am a highly critical person I can especially of myself but anyway all right so there is a little bit of play in this and that's what this bracket helps with however uh, the bracket kind of sucks. All right, so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, so then I use a flashlight. All right, so given the shape of this graphics card, it's actually really hard. That's a cough drop. Given the shape of this graphics card, it's actually really hard to get this brace on it correctly. Oh, super. That's actually never happened before. Hey, magnetic screwdriver saved the day again. There's a screw that holds this brace together. But anyway, this brace has never really done a good job of um, shaping itself to any graphics card. Any of them. I've tried like at least four different body styles. There's this. It actually holds on to the... Um, the 1070 Founders card better than it does this? Yeah, this is stupid. This is like ineffective. This is a joke. It's, I don't know guys. It's not a very good brace. And you could chalk it up to user error, I suppose. I've got it in the holes. It just, it doesn't, this card is sloped and there's nothing I can do really there's another two-hole spot over here. I can see... No, well, that's too close to the power cord. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe one of you will be smarter than me and do it better than I will. Like I said, this is not exactly a how-to. I mean, it's a little bit of a how-to, but uh, trust me, I'm not telling you to do things the exact way I do them. Yeah, this is super frustrating. Maybe if I put, oh, if I push it down more, although that, no, this is, this is crap. I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'll deal with it in a minute. All right, so I had some zip ties that came with the Corsair power supply. 
All right, they're skinny and they're black. Hopefully I've got enough of them. I haven't counted them, but they're skinny and they're black and they're actually more or less the correct size. Now what we got to do, and I predict a certain amount of difficulty because I've already played with this before, is what we got to do is figure out how to line this up. All right. We're zip tying the fans to this grate and then we're putting the grate down. So, and there's not a lot of room for error. I wonder if there's a 50 millimeter fan. I got 40s and a 60 because I I already have 40s and 60s in my house that I practiced with. But maybe a 50 would have been better. All right, so how much space can this really? Huh. I think we're going to be fine. I think I actually think this is going to work out with no problem at all. So what we're going to do, I don't know how easy this will be to do on camera. We're going to find out. All right. So what we're going to do is zip tie the sucker. Again, it goes like this. Yeah. So over here, all right, which is over here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Y adapter. There's only one free spot on the motherboard. I'm going to use a Y adapter so they can share the free spot on the motherboard. And I'm going to use an extension and it should reach. I've actually already, I got a 120 millimeter fan working via this technique. Um, but obviously the 120 millimeter is not going to fit in there. So the fractal design case, the Node 202, that actually has 120, 120, like it's got room for two 120 millimeter fans under the GPU, all right? And that would have been super useful in this case. Now, I'm hoping this works. This may not draw in enough air to really matter. Speaking of which, I have to, I'm gonna use this for an intake because that's what people on the internet have suggested. So I look at my little arrows and so I've got my intake mapped out. All right. This part I'm not really going to do in front of the camera so much because I don't want to screw it up. Alright, what are we going to do here? This should be fine. I have more play if I don't go all the way through the fan. Ooh, baby. This is, this is still not the world's smartest idea. Alright, so we've got the air intake. Make sure it's still facing the way it needs to. Yeah, this is real sketchy. This is, um... Hard to do while I'm making a video, if I'm honest. And then part of the issue... Okay, so part of the issue is these slots. These slots are laid out in such a way that it makes it kind of difficult to secure this via zip tie. Because none of this was ever meant to happen, you know? So I need it to be secured and end up in the correct spot. That way I um, don't hit the graphics card with this when I put it back together. Alright. I'll go ahead and start this zip tie just a little bit so I don't lose it. So I don't lose the... Um... There we go. So I've got, so I've got it hanging there now. A little dangle angle. Dangling. Okay, so put another one in here. Again, this this is probably a really stupid idea. One of my one of the it's not really a favorite thing. I say that sarcastically, but one of my favorite things is people will see me try this stuff, and like I'm doing this to see what's possible, right? Like I'm experimenting. I'm to me this is part of what makes PC gaming fun. You can't really do this with a PlayStation 4. You can. It's it's just it's a lot more limited. So for me, this is a selling point for being a PC gamer. Like, PCs are expensive. Um, and I'm not saying this 100% justifies owning a PC, but it, it does, to some degree, help. So with all that said, I do this for fun. I do this to experiment. I do this to see what is possible. But it never fails. Someone's going to watch this video and they're going to comment about how stupid of an idea this is and it probably is a stupid idea 
I mean, if I'm honest, this is probably not even going to work. But it might. It might. You never know. This might work. And if nothing else, it's still fun for me to test it. I guess is kind of where I come from on this. Like, I have fun in seeing what's possible. Alright, so these grates are not lined up at all in a way that is conducive to uh, pulling off what I'm trying to pull off. So that's what's taking me so long. Like, they're, the tie down points, if you will, line up in such a way that I might hit the GPU with, uh, with the fan and then it's kind of like a moot point. It's like, it's not gonna work, all right? This is so not good. This is not bueno. See, this is why I got the 40 millimeter fan is I wasn't sure. See, there's there's enough space for two 60 millimeter fans, technically, if the sucker will stay put, you know? I don't know if it will. This is where me editing the video would probably be a godsend for you guys so you don't have to sit here and listen to all this. I apologize, I really do. My editing situation is not a good one right now. Um, so all of my videos are set up to be done in one take because editing is just... The, I use a certain computer to do it. I have like, my gaming computers would make pretty decent editing systems but I don't use Adobe, I don't even use Vegas or Sony or whatever it's called these days. Um, and just, my computer's a dog for editing, the one I actually use for editing and the software suite I use. And I'll upgrade it hopefully later this year, but I've actually been spending all my money on hardware to test for the channel instead of on things like cameras and lighting and computers. So my production values aren't the best, but I have been able to test quite a bit of hardware. All right, so I've almost got four zip ties into this. I'm on the fourth one, there we go. So now we tighten the zip ties, and hopefully we're not gonna hit the GPU. If we hit the GPU, that's gonna suck, all right? That's gonna really suck. We don't wanna hit, hit the GPU, and the more I look at this, this 60 millimeter fan looks like a joke. <laughs> this looks like, oh man, this looks like a waste of money and time right here. This 60 millimeters does not look good. But hopefully I'm wrong. Oh, you know what? These are not Tua's, and I actually meant to try the rubber mounts. I'll try the rubber mount with the second one. All right, let me see. Did I bring scissors in here? Shoot. If I didn't bring scissors in here, they're only like two seconds away. Should have, but I don't think I did. And my cough drops, those are right here. All right, I'm gonna get scissors. Trust me, it's not even gonna be a full 20 seconds. Watch, maybe here. Let's. All right, I had to deal with something. So it was a little more than 20 seconds. Like I said, bad production values. This is super, whoa. Hopefully y'all didn't see none. These stupid shorts. I've lost a lot of weight the past year and I actually need smaller clothing, which is a good problem to have, but it's still a problem, believe it or not. I haven't had to buy smaller clothing in at least 10 years, which is sad to say, but it's that's life. All right, so I need smaller clothing. In case any of you care. All right. Yeah, like I said, this video is not going to be for everybody. A lot of people are going to probably hate it. Okay, so we got a little fan right here. A little knock to a fan. I got a knock to a fan, boy. Oh shoot! How did I do that? How did I do that? I put it on the wrong side. Now I really want to edit the video so badly. I put it on the wrong, how did I do that? I specifically like puzzled this out. 
Oh, I probably have... I don't know. Okay. I Yeah, I said it would be over here. So yeah, I put it on the wrong side. So that wasted four of my zip ties, which that ain't good. And then I wasted quite a bit of time. So, alright. Hang in there or fast forward at this point if you want to. And now I just scratched the finish on this case. That was really disheartening. I actually have a ton of clear zip ties. It's just I'm already using these brown fans. So mixing clear zip ties and brown fans and yeah. All right, this was supposed to go over here. I don't know. I don't know how or why I screwed that up to the extent that I did, but I did. So make sure my airflow is going the right way. Okay, so now this time I need to make, yeah, okay, so there is. All right, I have a feel for what I'm doing though, so this ought to go a little bit more quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six zip ties there, plus three over here. So if I don't screw up, I do have enough zip ties to um, get through this. That was unfortunate, but we shall persevere. All right, mankind will carry on. Kind of like having that there, but. So how are you guys doing? I'm the one over here wasting time and money on this. How, how are y'all holding out? How's your day been? What kind of projects are you guys up to? Do you guys do stuff like this? Because, look, I'll say it again. I think that um, it's fun to experiment with PC gaming and stuff. I think it's fun. Um, you know, like, very few things give you a reason or an excuse to do all this. You know, I've actually, so these little bitty fans, if you read the reviews on Amazon, there are people who have purchased them because they'll get a cable box and they'll replace the fan in their cable box to make it quieter. They'll replace it with a Noctua fan, which is kind of clever. Um, but there's just very few times in life where you have an excuse to do things like this. So, I think it's pretty cool. And really I'm doing this so that the... I was trying to see if there was a rubber piece I was missing. I'm doing this so that the computer will be cooler. Specifically, hopefully this will make the GPU run more coolly. And then I can get better frames per second and better game performance, yada yada yada, less throttling. That is the hope. But it's not like you're going to get better frames per second or anything if you do this with your cable box. You're just going to make your cable, bo cable box more quiet, which, you know, that has its own rewards, I'll grant you that. But it's, it's not the same as this. I'm trying to I'm trying to wonder if I could just do this one with three zip ties. Because over here I'm kind of missing a fourth tie-off point unless I want this to be really crooked. I'll tell you what. Let's just put this on right now before I tighten the zip ties. So we're on the right side now. That at least we did that. Alright, so that fits actually. That fits, and I was worried about it being crooked, but if I make it crooked, it might actually clear the GPU a little better. I mean, this is almost bumping against the GPU right now, so I think it might actually... See, we have the fan on there. I think we might actually see a benefit. Whew, I'm tempted to use the clear zip tie because it's longer, and it actually would really, really help me, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the black one. I'm going to try to have some pride in what I'm doing. I'm going to, I'm going to use the black one. Y'all don't even know. There is a part of me that is willing to just make this look completely ghetto. As long as it performs well. Like rat rot it. But I do have a YouTube channel. I can't be a total wanker. I can only be like probably 25% wanker and maintain an audience. So, alright, we're going to use the black zip tie even though it's shorter 
It still worked. Ooh. Are you gonna are you gonna work there for me, buddy? Alright, hopefully you do. Alright, scissors. Yeah, I was hoping to be on the second fan by now. I'd have the second fan done and we'd be ready to but oh not really ready to button it up because first we'd have to um power it, run the power cable, make sure I don't cut this incorrectly. Come on. Well, that actually could be tightened a little bit. Yeah, you'd be surprised how versatile zip ties are for PC building. Again, don't I, I don't recommend this, right? Like, hey guys, zip tie your computer together. But, here we go. So I've got one in. This should work really well now. Oh. The cable's being squirrely. Oh yeah, oh no! Technically I think it's supposed to slot. no? There we go. Oh yeah, that's not even touching the GPU at all. That is a wind. You know, sometimes you need a wind too. That is, you can see the complete uh, side of that frame there. We are not touching the GPU whatsoever. Um, with the 1070 in there, it's a little bit longer. It might be a little dodgy with the 1070 in there, but yeah, we're, we're good. We are good. So, one more. Here, you want to see the CPU this time? There you go, if you want to analyze all that. Alright. Put it like this. Angle like that. Alright. I'm going to try to figure out also which direction I want the power cord to face. Um, this is sweet. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, wait a minute, I do have one question. I do have one question before I waste my zip ties. How high up am I going to put that second one? Like, all the way up? Or I think it's going to be smarter to just have it touch the, um, just have the two touching each other. Although, come on, go together. Yeah, yeah, just to be safe, I'm going to have them touch each other. That way it takes some of the guesswork out. Uh, boo -boo, yeah. yeah, now it's actually, whoa. Really? It's a little different than how I had it last time, but all right. Okay, so, kind of in the final stretch now. Uh, which way do we want this cable to go? That way. Duh. Alright. Well, I can't really have them touch. There, There is a slight problem with trying to do that. Although, I could line it up here. And they're going to be pretty close to touching. Pretty close. Almost. It's these stupid slots. These slots are not made to accommodate these, obviously. So, you know, all right, we're just, we're just going to have to hope for the best. Again, this is not a how-to, but maybe it will inspire you. Right? Like, I don't want to have you make some of the mistakes that I've made, but maybe this can still inspire you in some way for a solution for one of your build problems. Let's see here. Yeah. We're just going to go for it, dude. I do have a crap ton of clear zip ties if this doesn't work. And this can just look disgusting. Oh, why is that? Okay, seriously? So my zip tie was in like backwards snow. It didn't snag, so now I had to reverse it.
I'm trying not to sweat to death over here, to be honest. I got a big bright light on me, and I got to turn my air conditioner off when I record. And my big fat fingers are in the way while I'm trying to create anchor points that were never meant to exist. All right, keeping it moving. Yeah, now the thing is, the Node 202 already has two 120 mil fan support. So there's real, like I wasted, these fans did cost money, okay? They cost money and they cost postage. And really, this is all a stupid plan. This is a legitimately stupid idea. The Node 202 will probably outperform this hands down. All right, but here's the thing. I have a handful of reasons why I would want this to work. So reason one, um, this has a handle on it and the Node 202 does not. And then when the Node 202 gets here, I'll check, but this might be even slimmer. All right, so if I can still maintain a slim form factor, that's, that's a win for me. That is definitely, I, I see it as a win. So, if I can maintain, if I can have a handle and a slimmer form factor, I would like that. Also, if this works, that would be cool. Like, maybe someone else has already done this on the internet, and they've done, like, a real easy-to-follow write-up. It's, like, way smarter than this video that I'm making. But, if they have, I haven't seen it, all right? I would tell you if I had. But, anyway... I want this to work. And then for another reason, this is a really petty reason. This is a terrible reason for me to want it to work, but I like competition. And everybody, you know, goes on and on about how great fractal cases are. And I'm sure they are great, right? I mean, I've got one coming in the mail and I'm sure I'm going to like it. But at the same time, I've never had a Silverstone case. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think they're very good looking, but I like competition. So I would like to be able to have a legitimate reason to like this case, right? Now, to be fair, if the Fractal Node 202 had a handle, I would have gotten that first. I never would have gotten this. But whatever, I've got it now. And this is a fun little experiment to do. All right, so we've got the two fans on here. Now all we got to do is hook them up with a Y adapter. See, now we're on the downward slope. We hook them up with a Y adapter, and, um, come on buddy, get tight. We like it tight. Tighter is better. Anyway, you get the Y adapter, put that on these two, and then you get the extension cable, run it through. I'm not even going to put the panels on yet. Well, I am, but I mean, I'm not going to, um button it all down until I make sure all this works. All right, so, right. So I forgot to use the rubber, the rubber things. I don't think, I don't think they would have worked anyway. Would they have? You know, they might have, actually. They might have, but we use zip ties. Maybe I'll try the rubber things in the future. All right, so is there a Y adapter in here? These better work with a Y adapter, dang it. Now I have Y adapters from other, um, from other Noctua kits. This is an extension cable. You know, that's, oh, wait a minute. My Y adapter better work with, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Okay, we, we could have a slight problem because these little fans are three pins and then do, 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 the one is like a four pin situation so where's I know I have a Y adapter because I just saw the sucker yesterday I just used it is it still I don't think it is oh, yeah. that, that's where my fan header is is it still in this case somehow alright that could derail the video if I can't find the Y adapter I used it just yesterday. Alright, so Molex extender. Here we go, Y adapter. <sighs> Alright, so here's what we're going to have to do. 
Is that missing a pin? That sucks. All right, so hopefully it works this way. So we're going to have to put the Y adapter itself into the motherboard because that's got a four pin connection on it. All right. So, all right. So this goes into the motherboard right now, this way. I would have preferred to just put the extension, the extension into the motherboard, but I can't do that. All right, so now we got this big old long cable. Hopefully it's long enough. Oh, why you do me this way? Don't do me this way, baby. Oh yeah, and the, the fans, they have length on them also. So that, yeah, this should be fine. Okay, one more extension cable. Arguably, I might need to zip tie this little situation together. So let me try it. Let me do that. Um, what I'm doing is, so in case I haven't made it clear, this is a Noctua. That's a Noctua Y adapter, okay? It looks like a little wishbone. Again, I'm cattywampus in front of this camera. All right, so that's the Y. I don't know why this is so awkward. Y adapter. That part goes into the motherboard. These two should be able to possibly lead out to the um, um, bands. Each one is going to get an extension on it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just plug it together. All right. This is... I don't know how I can screw this up so badly, but I can't get things in the frame. I'm sitting off to the side, right? Like, it really is a triangle between me, the camera, and the computer. Anyway, this is like super long now. It's like legit long. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie, I'm gonna use my clear zip ties because I used all my black ones up. So here's my clear zip ties. I don't even remember when or how I got these, but I have them. So now I am going to try to make this easier on myself. I have that there and then, so I guess I'll zip tie it here. Now this is one of those situations, I will say this about Noctua's extenders. They're real easy to like come apart and it's infuriating. So if they come apart in a mid tower, it's not that difficult to get them back together. If they come apart in this thing, I'm gonna freaking be pretty upset. Not even going to lie to you. I'm going to be pretty upset. So hopefully, where'd I put them scissors? Oh, they're way over here. All right. All right, see? So I have a zip tie kind of holding this Y situation together. Oh, I'm going to put a few zip ties on it. Because the cable management is just... A complete hot mess right here. It just really is. Actually, I forgot. I could get a little bit creative with my cable routing. So, before I zip tie this too much, I need to make sure I have it figured out with the cable routing. Make sure I have that going. Alright, so... The Y adapter will go there. I was just going to have it cross everything and go through here. And then it would come out here to where the fans are. But what I could do... Because this is going to be one of those things that's going to be kind of hard to put together. Alright. Yeah, these two brown bandage looking things right here. And look, you can fit two of them to dowel. They are not at all touching the GPU. Uh, arguably running them through here is like the path of least resistance, but I could run them through here. Um, I don't know how well you can see any of this that I'm pointing at. 
So I could run them through here, through here, through here. Um, so it needs to get to here. And down here is where the header is. Down there, at the bottom there. The header is there, and then the fans are like over here, crisscrossed, because of course they are. Um, oh yeah, there's a hole here. So what happens if I... I feasibly, if I really had to... Here. Let's go ahead and plug this into the header here. There's only two fan headers on here, the CPU header and then this, I really don't know what the other one is, it's hard to make out how it's labeled. So I could technically bring these through here, alright, you know, if I want to get creative with it. So here we go. Now they're like not, not really touching anything, they're, and they're not having to make it across all these wires and through here to go in this hole over here. So they can go there, then they can wrap around over here and meet the fans right here. And maybe that's a smart idea, maybe it's not. I don't know. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to button up the PC side first. So now here's hoping that nothing happens bad on the PC side. Button up, so I button up the PC side. Come on, buddy. There we go. These connectors are so sketchy, I promise. They can, they can really come loose. Alright, so, covering up the PC side, there we, look how easy that was. The PC, side is, see, the PC side is covered up, and then these cables are, like, really good and long right here. To hook those two fans up. So, let's screw the PC side in. Oh yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Let's see if the fans even power up. Alright. Sometimes you do run into issues with uh, the Y adapter and the extensions and everything. It's a little too much logistically. So let's make sure this even works. Ooh. Not good. All right. Got that plugged in. Turn this thing on. Let me see if these fans spin up. Like I said, this is all ridiculous the way I am here. All right. I'm trying to see which one's the daggone power button. Yeah, that's a jet. So this is power. I don't... Oh, yeah. The fans come on, and at first they make a little clicking sound. Oh, because I didn't... No? Why did they do that? Don't know. Don't know, but they're on. Two 160 millimeter fans are on, and they are sucking in air. The question is, will it be enough? Right? Like, will that be enough airflow? It probably won't, right? This is this whole thing is probably a sad little pipe dream, and this is a big, long, stupid, unedited video with no payoff, but we'll find out, right? All right. So we know it works. Everything works. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's unhook this. Well, of course. There we go. So remember, we got to button up the PC side. That was actually pretty legit. The route that I took. So this Silverstone case, all right, one of one of the perks for it, and I don't know if the uh, Fractal No 202 will find out when it comes here. One of the perks is it does have like really good cable management all around. Now, if you get the Fractal, it you can buy it where it comes with a 450 watt power supply, and, and all the cables are the right length for it, and blah blah blah. Remember, I got the Corsair uh, power supply. It's a 600 watt, and I did that for two reasons. One, I want to be able to put any GPU in here that I want to. And two, because it's 600 watts, let's say I'm running like this 1060 in here, it's feasible that that fan won't have to be on very much. 
all right? Because it's uh, the 1060 has one six pin connector. It doesn't have a high TDP for the most part. Of course, I'm putting it in an oven it's still. Um, it's the thing is, if you get yourself a silent CPU and then you like what I do is I normally get like a thousand watt PSU, right? A thousand watt power supply for my desktops and then I run a single graphics card in it and a lot of times the fan is almost not on at all, right? So that's, one, that's why I do it this way. Anyway, so it's probably going to be a good idea to zip tie these out of the way somehow. There's not really a good anchor point to do it. I'm afraid of covering the uh, the GPU fan. Okay, here's what I can do. And with these zip ties being so long, I actually have a chance of pulling this off. As I can run this through here. Come on. There we go. All right. So it's probably hard to see what I'm doing. I'm running a zip tie through here through the chamber separation. Ouch to try to hold these wires over here so that they don't cross the GPU. So, so far it's looking pretty good. All right, where's my skizzers? All right. Now this, the fan cables are actually gonna be a little long doing it this way. So those still might touch the GPU, but I'm hoping they don't. Right. Hoping for the best. That's that's like the uh, the whole motto for this video. That's, that's the mantra. Just hoping for the best. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. She likes me. Come on. Come on, let's go. Oh. The panels don't go on incredibly well, but they never did. But no wires whatsoever are impeding the GPU whatsoever. That is highly successful. This is the CPU cover on like wank. Look at that. It looks like there's a thing here that might supposed to be the hook in. Okay, that, yeah, that should hook into there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw on the GPU side. Because I don't, I don't want to lose this progress. It's almost like, you ever play the first Final Fantasy? And you accomplish something in it, and then like all you want to do is like get to an end so you can save your game. Or like you want to get out of the dungeon so you can use a tent and save your game just so like you don't lose your progress. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. So let me screw the panel on here, the GPU cover. So that is the big beautiful GPU cover. You can see the 1060 in there and then you can see my ghetto wretched 260 millimeter. Wow, like this fits in here perfectly, the 260 millimeter fans. All right, so I need a re-roll. I need a do-over. I need a do-over on, uh, on the CPU side. And hopefully I don't screw anything up. Hopefully, hopefully I don't like snag the uh, cables or anything and then hook the Y adapter inadvertently. All right. I love my magnetic dish. I'm just going to put this in my lap so I can... Ooh, look at you. Look at you, you beautiful thing. All right. This still... This is so sketchy. This really... The panels don't line up beautifully. Now you can you can say it's user error. Like you guys have been watching me fumble with this the whole time, so you can say that's because I suck. Okay, fine, fair enough. But I'm not the only person that sucks at things like this. Okay, so I'm not the only person that's gonna have this problem. You normally want your product to be idiot proof, right? You want it so some schmuck like me isn't gonna mess it up. There we go. Alright, this is I'm telling you, I am really going out of my way to um, like this case. Now you can argue if I put like a GTX 960 in here 
um, played some 1080p without MSAA, this probably would have worked. But here's the thing, I don't want to settle for that. I want real performance, dang it. So, there, oh shoot, I gotta put the handle on it. Look, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me put the, uh, you know what, I'll just put the handle on it though anyway. Because there is a, um, there is a technique to it. And you guys might want to know that. So, the handle is a hassle. Uh, the whole case is a hassle, but the handle is especially a hassle. Like, seriously, if... I don't know how there could be so many things that are a hassle with this case, but there are. There's just a lot. It does have some good things going for it, like the fact that we can, we can even fit those 60 millimeter fans in there, the fact that cable routing is actually pretty decent in here. Like, the power supply that I used in here isn't necessarily made for this case, and yet it worked. All right, so the handle can only go on one way because one end is longer than the other. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is put, you're gonna to wanna to take the screws out. Now that may sound counter, that may sound counterintuitive, right? Like you may think to yourself um, to have the screws in it already and put it down would work, but that, that's a terrible idea, don't do that. What you wanna do is you wanna put the handle without the screws, sans screws, no screws. You wanna put the handle on top of the case and you want to see the screw hole because it's very easy to like not ha be lined up with the screw hole for some reason. Um, there, it's not like there's any indication on here when you look that things are the way they should be. So you want to look. You want to look through the handle. Okay. There you go. Eh. All right. So you want to look through these handle holes. Okay. You want to look through those holes and make sure you can see the screw hole underneath, and then put the screw in there. And again. It's going to be easier to do with a magnetic screwdriver. So that's all I'm going to do for now. This video is already long and terrible enough. If you've watched it, thank you for watching it. Please like it. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Normally I don't do videos that are this terrible, but sometimes I do. Uh, this is just, you know, an informal hangout video at this point. And then I'll, I'll let you guys know in the description box if this was FUBAR, right? Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and power it on and, and see if the fans are still connecting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is legit. That is MC Hammer legit. Look at that. So you can see these fans are greatly obstruct, obstructed by grill parts. And realistically, I could have scooped them over a little bit. Uh, see, this is never in front of your screen. I promise. Anyway, th look, th y'all don't even know. The camera is angled one way. I'm angled another. This is angled like 25 degrees away from my face right now. But anyway, um, maybe I could have scooped these over a little bit. But what I was concerned about was bumping into the GPU. So this is one of those better than nothing type scenarios, right? Like this was, I was desperate, you know, my GPU was getting up to its thermal limit and then it was cutting its power down and down and down and down and still hitting that thermal limit because I was running 1440p with, you know, very high and ultra settings and everything, which, you know, if I'd been doing... 1080p with no MSAA or anything, I think it probably would have performed a lot better. But we're going to find out if these two little 60 millimeter fans help. They, they might not. I don't know. And I don't have any more headers, but what I might do is I might put the Y adapter... I might put the Y adapter on the CPU header, and I could actually probably zip tie a 120 mil fan over here. And maybe by the time I have a 120 mil and, and then two 60 millimeter fans, maybe this stupid thing will perform better. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. This is uh, this has been an interesting project, and you know it's not for everybody. I don't think everybody would want to do this, and I don't, I don't even know how effective it will be. So I'm going to turn off this camera. I'm going to connect the handle, and then I, then I have testing to do. Right? I'm not going to record that right away. Um, because I'd like to have an idea of how it actually does before I record it. Um, there you go. 
Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This has been AI Gaming 1776. And I actually, before I even recorded this, I did another video showing you guys my Z170 test system setup. So check that out too. That one doesn't suck as much as this video. Thanks for watching guys. I love you so much. The channel has been growing like gangbusters the last couple months. And I'm, I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty happy. And apparently y'all are happy too because you're watching the stuff. So thank you. And have yourselves an excellent day. All right. See you later.